Hello, today I have two questions for you. This is beginning level of the genetics and very easy questions. Probably you would be able to solve these problems on your own. And um, here is my explanation of the first problem. You may stop video here, choose your correct answer and then compare with my explanation. So, first question. An individual who is heterozygous for two genes is represented. So first of all I want to show what is a heterozygous, heterozygosity and homozygosity means. For example, we are humans, we have two sets of chromosomes, uh, one set from the father side, another set of chromosomes from the mother side. and. Uh, that also means that we may have the same gene that can be um, in two forms. One, for example, um, can be dominant, and we show this with uh, capital letter. Another can be uh, recessive, and we show it as a small letter, and we may have three different combinations. We may have homozygous dominant, homo means the same, so you see two capital letters here, and this is the same letters. And here we have uh, also homozygous form, but this time recessive. So uh, this is uh, also two genes of the same kind, so this is called uh, alleles. And here we have also two alleles, but one is, uh, as you see, capital letter and another one small letter, and this stands for um, dominant, uh, and this is stands for the recessive uh, trait. So, uh, homo, we have two uh, homozygous and one heterozygous. So now we can proceed with uh, choosing the correct answer and I also want to mention that B stands just for the uh, another uh, gene. We just uh, use different letter to designate the second gene. So here we have combinations of two different genes. One gene called A, another one B, and each uh, present in two copies. It could be homozygous state or heterozygous. Homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive, or heterozygous. So let's start from the answer D, and we have uh, here homozygous dominant for A and heterozygous uh, for the gene B. So this is incorrect answer because we are asked for two heterozygous genes. Answer C we see here homozygous dominant for A and homozygous recessive for B. So this is also incorrect answer. And um, we jump to A and see that here we have heterozygous for gene A and uh, homozygous for gene B. So this is also not a uh, correct answer. So correct answer is B. We see here heterozygous form for gene A and heterozygous form for the gene B. So this is correct answer. Now uh, let's move to the second question. How many genetically different kinds of gametes an individual with genotype AA, capital AA and small BB produce? So uh, let me show first uh, different uh, combinations that is possible. Uh, as you see, we have uh, in our first question three different uh, combinations of the two alleles. So only one, two, and three. So we also use three different combinations for um, 
each of the gene and this will give us uh, A A capital A A and uh, small b b this is going to be first combination second combination can be heterozygous for uh, gene A and homozygous for gene B and third combination can be heterozygous for both genes. Uh, so this all three states uh, and of course you may say that uh, we also may have homozygous recessive here for example and uh, homozygous dominant here but um, this is just going to be one of the versions of what we have here. So only three combinations that is possible that produce uh, different gametes. So uh, here we have one variant that is capital A small b and also capital A small b capital A small b and capital A small b. So this is just one. We have four different combinations but all of them are of the same kind so only one uh, combination. So with one heterozygous and one uh, homozygous we may have uh, capital A small b capital A small b small a small b and small a small b so this is one and this is second variant so two two different variants and now uh, when two genes are in the um, heterozygous form we may have uh, capital A capital B capital A small b small a large b and small a small b so here we have uh, one combination, this is the second, this is different, and this is third and fourth. So four different combinations. So we have one, two, and four. So uh, answer C is not correct at all because we cannot get with two genes uh, three combinations. We only can get one, two, or four combinations depending of on the whether uh, we have uh, homozygous or heterozygous state for one or another gene and um, answer B is when we have one gene in heterozygous form another one in homozygous and uh, it doesn't matter if it is recessive or homozygous uh, dominant we just have two different combinations and uh, this is not our answer and uh, when we have two genes in heterozygous form we have four combinations but uh, our question is when we have two genes in homozygous form and this is this first uh, combinations of uh, two genes but uh, each gene present in homozygous form and this is uh, produce only one combination so correct answer is A so this is all for today I hope you were able to solve all these problems correctly on your own Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.